Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm Brett, and my hands is Bulls of Beacon Hill, number one, brand new series published by Aftershock. It's written by Steve Orlando with art by Andy McDonald. Lorenzo Scaramella is the colorist, and Carlos N. Manguel is the letterer. Uh, this is a pretty, this is a really solid debut. I mean, it's kind of like right up my alley as to a type of story I might enjoy. Uh, so stories about this kid named Christopher Bolt, whose father is a mobster in uh, Boston, and, you know, basically kind of helped build the city. Uh, Christopher has uh, kind of rejected his father and built a nice life of his own. He is now a well-respected doctor and is, like, opening up free clinics and is thinking about running for city council. Um, and there's, of course, those rumors of whether or not his father is a mobster. Uh, Christopher is also gay, and his father hates him for it, uh, thinking that that makes him look weak as a mobster, I guess. I don't know. Weird. Um, so this is, uh, this is basically a clash between son and father, son who, uh, has kind of been running away, uh, from his, um, heritage and the father who's a bigot. Uh, and it should be, it should be pretty solid, like overall story. The first issue I think is really good. It sets up Christopher as a character, uh, character really well. Um, there's like some great stuff in the back of like, a. Um, uh, not opposition paper, but a, a, a candidate profile that kind of goes over the, the the character and kind of like really nails stuff down. Um, it's good. I mean, this is uh, this is a solid series uh, so far. I'm really enjoying it. It's kind of like got this nice old school mob feel to it. A uh, little new new school uh, updated vibe to it. Uh, and we're going to see where it goes, but uh, so far, so good. I mean, it's it's a really good debut with, with intriguing characters, um, and just, it's good. It's, it's just good. Um, I think the only thing I might, might nitpick is there's, like, one scene where I would expect the news to be hounding uh, Chris about his father, but they don't. So I think that's maybe my only, only small nitpick. Um, art, I really like the art. It's a nice style. I think it fits really well. It's it's both clean and dirty, which feels appropriate for Boston. That's kind of the vibe the few times I've been there. Uh, so, yeah, it's uh, it's just a, an art style I think that just kind of really works for the series overall. Um, it's going to be it's gonna be really, really interesting, I think, to see where the series goes. Um, but I, so far, so good. It's, it has this nice, like, political meets mob story to it and uh, a nice debut just a, a good read uh check it out it's out in shops now we got a link beneath this video open your zip code hotel the comic shops near you no shop no problem we do have some links where you can purchase your own there'll be affiliate links so we do get a small percentage by doing that you'll support our site so thank you and speaking of support i want to thank aftershock for us up with a review copies uh we appreciate that and of course thank you all for watching if you are into comics check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com we're on twitter facebook youtube tumblr instagram tiktok and mass on all graphic policy keep it nice and consistent and until next time keep reading those comics and keep it geeky Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.